some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I've got a continuation from a video I did yesterday where uh, Denver Metro Audits, a.k.a. Christopher Cordova, had a picture of him taken by one of the employees at City Hall. Oh, he didn't like that too much. Now he's going to try to request a FOIA. But, you know, he's going to leave empty-handed. Oh, poor little boy. He's going to have to go to a safe space and talk to his girlfriend, uh, Sweet Tea Audits. Oh, poor little thing. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Hey there, I need to do a public records request. Do you have a form for that? Okay. Is it just like a background check for somebody or? Uh, Sandy Martinez on the third floor was taking a video footage of me. So I need to get that record. She made a public record, so I need to get that off her phone. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. So there's nothing that we can really give you um, to release that because it's on her personal phone. No, ma'am. That's not the law. So it doesn't matter if it's her personal phone or a business phone. If she's in her official capacity and she creates a public record, then that's public record. It's open to the public, ma'am. So that would be a violation of Colorado Revised Statute 18-8-114, which is abuse of public records. So it doesn't matter, personal cell phone. Trust me, I do this for a living. Uh, and I've, I've uh, gotten uh, pictures as long as, as well as video footage off of personal cell phones all across the state. So that's absolutely not true. I mean, that's just the information I was given from my supervisor. I don't really know Okay, who's the supervisor? There. Josephine. Josephine? Mm -hmm. Can I speak with her, please? No, how you make your living is by being a royal pain in the ass, getting kicked out of every kind of building imaginable. Pretty soon, you won't be able to go into any building in the state of Colorado if you keep this up. Hi. Hi, you're Josephine? I am. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, your employee here, I guess you're saying that because it's a personal cell phone, then that's not public record. So that's Correct. that's not true, ma'am. So if she is in her official capacity, it doesn't matter if it's a business phone or a personal phone. She created a public record, which means it's open to the public now. So um, if you do not provide that to me, that would be in violation of CRS 18-8-114, which is abuse of public records. I do this for a living. I'm a civil liberties activist, and I have gotten video footage off of several um, city employees on their personal cell phones, ma'am. So that is definitely, absolutely, I have a lawful right to obtain that. Well, we don't have a request form for you to that's do That's okay. That. I don't have to have a request form. I could write it down on a piece of paper. I mean, that's the way the law works. As long as I submit that request to you, that's all. I don't have to be like on an actual form, you know? Right. Well, we, it's not, it's not a public record at this time. So there's nothing for you to fill out. Yes, ma'am. It is a public record. Well, so. you can do whatever you, do you need have a business to, card? I don't. Let me explain something to you, ma'am, but this idiot spent six months trying to get a single picture off a cell phone, even stood in front of city councils arguing his point, and still got really no satisfaction at all over a single picture taken of him. That is how petty this guy is. Do not. What's your name, Josephine Huvera? Yeah. Okay. So you're really going to make me go to the police station, ma'am, and file a, a criminal complaint on you to do this? Really? I mean, I don't want to have to do that, ma'am. You should just, you should be educated and understand that it doesn't matter if it's a personal cell phone, and you should just let me get the information, let me do the public records request, because it's not going to be a good look for you. Well, you can wait. The, court, the clerk of court is on her way, too. You can have that conversation with her as well, but... Oh, she's on her way? Down here, yes. Okay, did you call her over here? Um, I did ask her to come down, yes. Because I'm here? Because you're asking for a records request, so okay. she's the one who processes is certain record requests. Okay, so she's the, she's the one in charge, she's the custodian of records? Correct. Okay. For court records. Gotcha. I'm not, this isn't really a court record though. Correct. This is like a... It's a private cell phone, so... Right. It's but not a public record. It is a public record now, Joseph. Let me ask you something, Christopher. 
Is it really about the picture or is it really about the power trip that you're trying to experience? Because, you know, you're a small man. You're an insignificant little speck on this planet compared to everybody else. So are you trying to get a power trip out of it just so you can make yourself feel more like a man? Okay, well, it's you can have a seat record. and when she gets here, you can have the okay, same Okay, what's function. her name? Wendy. So Wendy's on her way? She is. Okay. All right, Josephine. You should learn the law, man. That's You're violating my rights right now. It's not cool. Are you Wendy? I am. Okay. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Good. I could be doing better, though. So um, I came in here. I was doing a tour of the building. Everyone was really friendly. I had a conversation with... The lady over there, she wouldn't give me her name, but um, I've been having a you know good conversation with people. I went up to the third floor and to the administration um, office. I pushed the button and uh, Sandy came out um, and was pretty rude to me. And okay. then she shut the door in my face. I was just trying to ask her a couple of questions. I, I don't think she liked that I was recording. So um, I kind of sat there for a little while and then I pushed the button again. And then she came out and told me that I was harassing her. So I'm not harassing. I'm just trying to, I was just trying to, like I said, get some information. Let's move over just a little bit more sure. so these gals can help keep from coming. Well, my man, you know, that was a total lie on your part, considering that you were pressing the button and you were trying to get past her, trying to get into a restricted area, but you were denied access because she shut the door in your face. It wasn't about filming. It was about you trying to get into areas that you don't belong. So anyways, she started, uh, I guess, being, she was. She didn't like that I was recording. So she went and got her personal cell phone and came out and started recording me. And I said, well, why are you recording me? And she said, well, because you're recording me without my permission. So I said, okay, so now you're going to record me without my permission. And she said, yeah, because two can play that game. And I said, okay, well, I mean, I don't mind being recorded. Um, you know, as you know, we have a lawful right to record in here. So, um, but I told her that she's creating a public record. So it doesn't matter if it's a personal cell phone or business cell phone. Um, and I told her not to delete that because that would be a violation of Colorado Revised Statute 18-8-114, which is abuse of public records. So um, I'm a civil liberties activist. I get, I've gotten dozens of uh, footage and pictures off of personal cell phones from public employees all across the state so josephine was telling me that because it's a personal cell phone that it's not a public record mm -hmm. so that's just absolutely not true so that's basically the the entirety of my business here i just need to to fill out a records request or she said they don't have forms but i can write it down on a piece of paper so we would have no authority to enforce that because it's a personal cell phone um it, it wouldn't it would be no different from me trying to get you know the footage off of your camera no. see the right, difference so. is because i'm a private citizen mm -hmm. and you are a public employee in your official capacity right so that's the difference of course you can't get my footage because i'm private you are paid with tax dollars so sandy martinez up there um doesn't matter ma'am so, so it sounds like you've done this before i've done it like i said several times okay but so I don't... how have you uh, how have you been able to uh retrieve personal cell phone records well usually people just follow the law and they just um give me a records request and then um it's cora uh you have three days to respond and then they respond and what they're going to do with the the records it usually takes uh, three to seven days i usually get the footage okay via email so the official cora process is actually on our city website so if you'd like to file a core request, you have to go through that process. Hey, you dimwit. She just said you have to go online to get it. I mean, you do have a cell phone that you can use right there. Why don't you just go ahead and do that instead of using it for a camera? But oh wait, that would make too much sense. And plus you miss out on the clicks and views from all the uh, antagonistic arguments that you'd make. Well, again, ma'am, that's also not true because I also do uh, homeless outreach. So if a homeless person comes in here and they don't have access to the internet, there has to be a way, like a physical form that they can write or fill out. So you can do that over at the cab building? Um, the computer because there? it's it's managed all through it's managed all through um, city communications I think is who manages our core requests so yeah it would have to go through them okay um, so do you have a business card um, I don't actually I have some upstairs in my office what exactly are you needing I just want to just document what you just write your name down for me sure. maybe sure and contact info like email or something 
Okay, so you can reach us at municipal court violations at coloradosprings.gov. I'm Wendy. I'm the only one in the building. All right. Okay. So I guess that's it then. That's it. So just education for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then, okay. Like I said, as you know, they have three days to respond. If they don't, uh, if they deny me the footage, then I'll have to file a 14-day letter of intent to sue. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're going to waste thousands of dollars to sue City Hall over a few seconds of video footage? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. You're all talking no bite. Because not once have you taken any of these things to court. And so just so you know, um, it doesn't matter. Just a little education for you for the next time this happens. Because I'm going to sure. definitely have to come in and do a follow-up now. I'm actually new here. Okay. I'm from Denver, but okay. I'm moving to Colorado Springs. So um, I'm going to have to come back now and do a follow-up. Uh, but when I come back, if people start taking pictures of me, it doesn't matter, ma'am, if it's a personal cell phone. Okay, it's public record. So just a little education for you, all right? Mm, okay. All right. Thanks, Wendy. Sure. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good. You can go back to work. All right. All right. All right, guys. So we were going to have to go fill out a, do a core request for that footage off her phone. Hopefully she won't delete it because that will be a misdemeanor crime, which is punishable by up to 30 days in the county jail and a hundred dollar fine. So I believe it's 30 days. Maybe it's only 10, I'm not sure. Represent, guys, don't, don't quote me on that. So. Are you the one that was up on the third floor? Are you, are you Sandy's supervisor? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just I'm, should let her know I'm doing a public records request for that Footage on her phone? It's not a public record. It is, sir. No, it doesn't no. matter. She's in her official capacity. She's, it, it, doesn't, it, doesn't it, it, it doesn't matter if she's her personal cell phone, sir. If she's recording me, it's a public record. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I do sure this for a do. living. Good. Look at this guy. Another rude public employee here. How you doing, sir? Hey, what's up, Garcia? So I actually met some uh, public employees up here that are even ruder than you, man. It's crazy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Yeah, I know, me too. So, well, I thought it was gonna be good. I mean, in the beginning, people were really nice and then you kind of were rude to me and then up on the third floor, we got Sandy, she's totally rude too. And we got this guy right here, I don't even know his name, Sandy Supervisor, he's a total douche knuckle. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, sir. Oh, poor little DMA. Couldn't get what he wanted out of these people. Poor little crybaby. Like I said, you should go to your girlfriend's sweet tea audits and cry in her lap for a while. Maybe she'll give you some c cookies and milk. So then, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.